So these are the issues. Now, if you ask me Bangladesh, Bangladesh should not go for hard power because you, where do you use your hard power? Rather the soft power could have, our soft power could neutralize hard power potential in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, could create a much better environment for Bangladesh to be more powerful or kicking above its weight in the outside world by exercising its soft power. But unfortunately, we have not been, I mean, not been strong in this pursuit. We have not, we, perhaps there is a con, very serious conceptual shortcoming here in understanding the utilization of their soft power. And by the way, diplomacy is, is a tool for utilization of their soft power. So, um, we have seen like Bangladesh goes through roughly five years prison change every now and then so that, you know, when it comes to the government changing. And how do you see the policies changing when, when this prison change is done? Some policies change, some policies do not change. For example, lack of interest in foreign affairs continues. <laughs> it doesn't change much. I have, for the last 30 years, the foreign policy has never been tried. And as I said, this is a strong point that we have not capitalized on. We always resort to foreign policy or diplomacy whenever, whenever there is a crisis. Mm -hmm. But it should be a very deliberate thing that you should push and push the envelope and create your space in the outside world. But we have not been attentive. The foreign ministry is one of the weakest. Uh, it's not being taken care of, good care of. Resources are very good. Uh, investment wise, uh, very, very, not very good. So this is one area where I think that we have, we have not been able to. And there I think I see a continuity in the leadership. But changes, I mean, basically nuanced change. Not, uh, you know, one thing we cannot change much is, you see how we are linked to the outside world. Can we change our business patterns, our sending our garments to US and European market? What can we change there? If we change, that would negatively affect us. So we can't change much. We are, our manpower is going to the Middle East, Southeast Asia. America. How much can we change there? If we change, that will affect us. So any government comes, they will have to follow the policy. They can't make much change. Our investment is coming from certain Western world. That's the only major change that we are seeing is they are now coming this time from the Indian side. I mean, India.